Hey guys, it's Nick here, and it's been literally ages since I've done a live video on t YouTube, but that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I Last night, because you saw my Steam rant, I sent uh, I sent a request and uh, an email asking what gives about not being able to buy those Quake expansion packs. And here's what their reply is. In a nutshell, they pretty much said, fuck you. Sorry if that spoiled anything, but now... If they're, if they're watching this, and I'm seriously sincere about this, I do thank them for all the help they've given me, and I hope they don't stop, because if they did, I wouldn't really be using Steam, and I'd probably tell all my friends who use it not to use it. But anyways, yeah, thank you guys for helping me. I'm seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously grateful that you replied. But, let's take a look at what they said. Alright, I, I, don't, I don't care about my email, I don't have anything to hide, so it's alright. Uh, well, let me... Let me move this a little bit. So I got a lot of stuff to move on my desktop. It's like packed. Alright, so. There, see, so avoid my email. So here's what they said. They said, hello, staff member has replied to your question. Thank you. Okay, here's the reply. Hello, thank you for contacting Steam Support. Unfortunately, you will not be able to purchase the Steam version of Expansion. So, by the way, I'm reading this off the program I'm using. So, you will, unfortunately, you will not be able to purchase the Steam versions of Expansions for or DLC for this game. Steam DLC and Expansions require a Steam version of the original game. And it is just the purchases made. I know, I kind of slurred there. Through Steam. Steam versions include retail purchases and purchases from alternative digital distributors for games on the following list title retail cd keys link yeah please note that in some cases there may be cd keys alternative digital distributors or cd keys that do not match the pattern shown in this article you will not be able to activate these games on steam so very much they told me if i want those expansion packs on steam i'd actually have to buy them on their f i'd have to buy quake again and that's pointless i am not i refuse to do that why pay twice for a game i already own uh i mean that's kind of malarkey man and i i fuck they, they want 10 bucks for quake on their site so personally i probably would have bought it if it was like five bucks but they're charging fucking ten dollars and i picked up a, a cased copy for fucking five dollars maybe even less i don't remember correctly but i know it wasn't ten dollars but why the fuck would you make it fucking ten dollars when I can get it for cheaper? I mean, that's that's stupid. I mean, who would want to do that? Now, I mean, it, like I said, if it was five dollars, I probably would have said, okay, fine, I guess I'll buy it a second time because the total th the game with the expansion would have been fifteen dollars. But twenty dollars for everything—that's kind of stupid, man. You, I mean, ten bucks more you can get the um, the. ID software pack which has like all their games on there but I mean what I mean and another thing which scares me about buying Steam games is what if your account gets suspended that's all your money down the shitter and I've spent over like a hundred dollars on their games I actually recently bought Deus Ex I need to get a video better video card though so when I had before it went out and that was a 9800 GTX and I'm stuck with a shitty 6600 GT even installing the video drivers did shit. I mean, it didn't really do anything different. So, anyways, that's my little story about um, Steam. I'm, I'm pissed at them right now. I will get over it very soon. And at soon, I mean like probably like a few hours. I mean, I'm not going to hold my breath over it. But if I knew that I had to buy their actual game on Steam... I mean, when I saw that game in the store this weekend, I would have fucking bought it. I wouldn't have want. I wouldn't have gone to Steam. <sighs> but um, I'm gonna be buying copy on eBay tomorrow, so it's all right. I mean, I'll, I'll look around on eBay. It's not that expensive of a game on eBay, so it's like total. It's like ten bucks, but you get like an actual copy. That's the thing. And you know when I bought um, Fear 2, our actual copy, you had to register that through Steam or else it would not work. So, um, I mean that's, the, that's literally the only way it could be played unless you buy like a, was it for Xbox 360 or whatever other console it's for. 
if you ain't on the PC version, you had to play it through Steam. So, yeah, I'm kind of pissed right now. But I'm not going to get mad necessarily at the guy who replied to my message because it's not his fault. He's not behind this. Probably Game Newell is or something or whoever, whoever invented Steam or whoever made the rules like this. Now, let's go to a site that actually has these kinds of games. It's called goodoldgames.com. Let me open up my program here. Uh, look. Now, I know, they don't have every single game. In fact, Quake's not even on here, and neither is Doom. And I don't think Wolf 3D is on here either, which kind of surprises me. No, they're not. But at least here you get their games. and uh, Yeah, see, they're only like 10 bucks, probably less. I mean... See, I don't see anything over 10 bucks. Uh, well, I saw one with a really weird price. Or not. Yeah, see, some of these are like 10 pounds. Oh, look at this. This is fucking free, man. Lure of the Temptress. Probably because it's really shitty. I don't know. I've never played the game. But, uh, yeah. None of these games exceed, like, fucking $5. Or, I mean, they don't exceed $10. Most you're going to be paying is $10, and that's it. It doesn't go overboard. I can't find a game on here that goes over $10. There's another one. Beneath a Steel Sky. That's probably a crappy game, too. I don't know. I haven't played the game, and I'm not going to judge a book by its cover. No pun intended. But anyways, that's my story about Steam. I'm pissed at them for a few hours. Maybe I'll get over it. Maybe. Most likely, yes, I will. But... Fuck it, Duke Nukem 3D. Now, I already have this game, but let's take a look. See how much that is. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Duke Nukem 3D Atomic Edition. It is $6. Let's see how much it is on Steam, though. And I, I don't care if people know my Steam address. They can add me if you want. If I put it on my profile, so I don't, I don't care. Let's go to the store, though. We'll see. Uh, um see if I can get this working, but let's see how much Duke Nukem 3D is on here. I mean, it, it, I do they sell it on here? I, I think they do, but I'm not going to hold my breath over that, but uh, st my Steam locks up a lot. Maybe it's just my computer. I don't know what it is, but whatever the case, it locks up a lot, so you're going to have to give it time. So, sorry. Alright. Um, let's go to the store. I went to library. I'm going back to the store. <clears throat> but I'd much rather go back to the carpet. Alright. Sorry, that was a shitty joke. Um, alright. Search for Duke Nukem. Do they sell do they sell it on here? No? No, they they don't sell it on here? Okay. They don't sell it on here at all. Okay. Now this is cool. Fifty bucks for the Steam copy. That's ten dollars cheaper than what I've seen in stores. Actually that place I went to that had that Quake expansion pack, uh the physical copy. They actually had the PS3 version on the scheme for like 30 bucks. So, I've heard it's bad. I don't know. And Duke Nuka Forever Brady Guide. Now, why would you buy this? You could buy an actual copy at like GameStop or something for like about the same price. Now, I'm not trying to tell Steam, I'm not trying to make it like not like to disadvertise, if that's even a word, Steam. I'm not trying to go, don't don't buy games on Steam, but I'm just saying some of their stuff though, it's like more expensive than others. And why I mean, why would you buy like a copy that you can only run on a program when like when you could get a real copy for possibly a cheaper price? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I mean if I if I was trying to like get people not to use Steam, I wouldn't buy any games on there at all. Let's look through my library because Let's see, that's not Steam. This is, this is, this is, this is, that it, that is, that is, that is. That's the game I just bought, but I need to get a better video card. Uh, that is, that is, that is, that's not. That is, that is, that is, that is, that is, that is. Sorry, I mean. Okay, I'll, I'll just scroll through these and I'll tell you if any of them are not. Okay, these aren't on Steam. See, this is my attempt to try it get it to work with Steam and apparently not to do anything. 
Oh, uh, that's not registered. That is. That's Steam. Uh, these aren't. Uh, these are. These are. Yeah. Not this though. Or not though. Those are all Steam games I bought. So I mean, yeah. I do have a problem with this game. This is the game I was telling you about, where like I tried to do something and it like with my controls and it like reset them. But anyways, that's my little rant. I don't want this to get too long. It's already 10 minutes. So, uh, I'm going to end the video here. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. And I might record my future video blocks with my iPod camera because it's got like better quality and voice. So, yeah. Thanks. Peace out.